This video is presented by EA Game Changes. Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. My name is Evan and I'm the administrator of the Sims community website and today we are going to be checking out the new objects that you get with the Sims 4 Get Famous expansion pack. So unlike with regular object previews that I do, this one is going to be very detailed. So I'm going to be covering all of the objects that we get that bring new gameplay. I'm pretty sure that I missed a two or three objects. I'm not too sure if I've covered every single one, but let me tell you, there's a lot of objects that I've covered in this video featuring the music station, the new koi pond, the new hair and makeup station and so much more that you get with this pack. So first of all we have the new music station which allows you to produce new tracks and make a lot of different sounds with it. I don't think we've ever gotten a music station before actually in the Sims franchise so this is pretty new. So with the music station you are able to produce new tracks, mix and montage different instruments with it and there's a lot of combinations that you can make out of it. So I've actually asked Simguru Ninja about about how many tracks do you get with this, how many combinations do you get, and he revealed to me that with the maximum level of media production skill, which is level 5, you get to produce 9 different tracks, and each track comes with different amount of layers and different amount of instruments that you can add to your own track that you're producing. So I haven't actually gone through the music station with higher levels of the media production, I was only playing it while my sim was level 1 or 2 I believe, so yeah, I got to play around with 3 tracks in total and I've only showcased two tracks in this footage. So as you can see, you can remix tracks as well, you can add bass, you can add a guitar, and you can also add a synthesizer to it as well. I'm now going to let you to listen to these tracks yourselves and what they sound like after adding different layers to it. I didn't figure out, unfortunately, what you can do with the tapes that you record at the music station, but Simguru Ninja actually revealed to me that although he doesn't want to reveal the full functionality of the tapes that you make, they are gonna help you out and contribute to the entire team of this pack. So I'm guessing that with the tapes that you create, with the music that you create at the music station, you are gonna be able to become famous. So I'm definitely excited to check that out once I fully get my hands on it. But now let's move on to a whole different object that we get with the Get Famous and that is the video station so that's right the sims for get famous also allows you to become famous through the internet so you are able to record videos you are able to edit videos you're able to upload videos to answer the comments from your followers from your subscribers and to just keep uh, your subscribers up to date to everyday situations you can record vlogs you can record beauty tips you can record all sorts of things with the video station it's very fun there's a lot of upgradable parts that you can add to the audience object that I'm going to be showcasing here. But first of all, let's break down some of the new interactions that you get with this object. With the video station, you can upgrade the video station, you can adjust lights on the video station, you can purchase add-on components for the video station, such as the ring light camera and additional equipment. You can also post updates, record videos, study online trends, and also view your video inventory. The record video section brings all sorts of different categories for recording videos, such as beauty tips, cheerful vlogs, fashion tips, and product reviews. When it comes to product reviews, 
reviews, you can review beauty products, you can review gadgets, and you can also review toys. So these are only some of the videos that you can record on the first levels of media production. I'm pretty sure that you can record more types of videos. And when I mentioned the cheerful vlog, well, that vlog was only available because my sim was in a happy emotional state. Of course, your sims are going to be able to record all sorts of vlogs depending on their emotional state. So if they are sad, they're probably going to be able to record sad vlogs when they're inspired. They're going to be creating inspiring vlogs and so on. Of course, I had to treat my sim with even more lights. So that costed me 500 simoleons. But I guess it's worth it because the more quality equipment your sim has, the better quality videos they'll be creating. And so with higher quality videos, your sims are going to be earning more revenue on the internet after they upload their videos. You'll also be able to earn fame as you interact with your online followers on the internet. So all you have to do is just post updates such as hype up the next videos, reply to comments and so on. So of course, as you are just starting out as a content creator, you won't be earning a lot of fame after you do these types of interactions. But of course, that's going to increase as you progress with your content creation, as you reach more followers on the internet and as you start creating higher quality videos. After you finish recording your video, you're going to be able to give your video file a name as well as a description for your video file. So, well, you don't get lost with all of the videos that you've created because after you record your videos, they're going to be found in your video file inventory. I think that the video file inventory is universal and it's not a part of your Sims inventory. I believe so. If you have multiple video stations in your home, then the same video inventory is going to be shared for all of the video stations, which is a neat feature. So here you can see the video station inventory in action and all the videos that you recorded. Well, you have more information about every video that you recorded and they are signified with specific icons. So if you created a fashion tutorial, then there's going to be a dedicated icon to it. If you created a tech video, then there's going to be a dedicated icon to it and so on. So recording videos is not the only thing that you can do at the video station. I mean, that's not the only thing that you need to do in order to become famous through the internet. So you need to add transitions. You need to edit your videos if you want to make your video in a higher quality because nobody likes an unedited video, right? As you can see, the fact that I've added transitions and also edited my video helped the quality making it very good. Actually, so good that he got nominated for the award ceremony on Sunday. All of the videos that you've created and uploaded will pay off and you'll be receiving royalty reports every day, showcasing all of the statistics and how many simoleons have you earned for each specific video that you've made. Earning simoleons through videos functions similarly to books because there's going to be a way where you're going to be earning a lot of money for specific videos videos and eventually as the videos get older you're going to be earning less and less money on them and earning more money on that fresh new video content that you create. So there are two specific objects that go great together with the video editing station so you get two types of drones. These drones are going to allow your sims to record footage all around them. So you can click on the drone and select begin recording. You can choose to record any sims in your household. You can also give a control to the drone to follow other sims around you. You can also do live streams directly from the drone that you've selected, which is really neat. You can basically just let your drone know to go around the neighborhood and you can just stream the entire freaking neighborhood, which I don't think we've ever had something like this before in The Sims so far. So drones which can stream the entire neighborhood, which can follow other Sims around. That's crazy, right? You can easily compare them to paparazzis, except that, well, they are not that humanoid. Unlike the second drone, which is much more expensive. I'm not sure what's the huge difference but I've noticed that the second drone doesn't have all the interaction that the first cheaper drone has and I'm guessing because it's more humanoid it's more designated for your sim only instead of allowing it to stalk other sims so I guess it's just a designated robot that can follow your own sim around and can record neighborhood footage as you can see what is happening right now personally I prefer the second drone just because it's a lot more cuter and I've noticed that you can rename it as well I'm not sure if I can rename the first drone 
this second more expensive drone has a lot more personality to it and I just think it looks so so cute. So after recording all of that sweet juicy footage of the neighborhood you are able to just let your drone know to stop so all you have to do is cancel the interaction that is currently on your sims interaction menu and the drone will stop recording the footage. You can then find that footage by just opening up the drone but first you have to find that drone and put it in your inventory because you will not be able to drag it yourself in the inventory menu. And as you can see that video that we recorded using that second drone is being treated as a travel video. I'm not sure why specifically a travel video because we were only collecting footage from the neighborhood just like the interaction said but I guess it's because they don't want it to sound it like my sim was about to stalk the entire neighborhood using the drone so I kind of respect the fact that they renamed it to the travel video. Another object that you get with Get Famous is called the Water Garden and you can stalk it with all sorts of different fish. With it you can stalk the waters with koi, you can stalk it with piranha, sharks and sprites so they are very expensive but one thing that I advise you to do is to be very careful with this water garden especially if you are planning to play with piranhas or sharks even because my sim, well the first time I was trying out this object it didn't turn out so well for my sim. So yeah, I did say that sims can get in trouble with sharks and piranhas, but they can also get in trouble with sprites and other types of fish as well, because you shouldn't be jumping in this garden pool, as you never know what could happen. The sims wife was able to plead for her husband's life, and I'm glad that the outcome was positive, because we get to check out the new animation of my sim resurrecting back from the dead from the garden pool. I guess it's very similar to resurrecting from drowning in a regular pool, that we get in The Sims 4, but yeah, it looks really cool seeing my yeah. sim rise from this brand new garden pool, and he just looks so shocked for being in that pool of sprites in there that already took his life once. Before we get into the vault and check out all the new interactions and things that you can do with that object, you also get the vault gate. So with the vault gate, you are able to lock down some of your most prized possessions. And they are specific just for the sim who closed down the gate. So I love the animations of it and I love how they closed down. But I really hated how the camera functioned so odd on this slot. I'm not sure what happened. But yeah, the game was just in pre-built during this phase. And I'm sure that they fixed the issue with this slot eventually. Only the sim who locked down the gate is able to open it up again and get access to that specific room which is barricaded by the gate. And now it's time that we talk about the vault. So the vault is a 4x3 object that you can place down anywhere on your residential home and with it you are able to close and lock the door and add money to the vault. So it will just transfer money from your household funds to the vault. So it will subtract the amount that you put from your family funds to the vault and you can see that immediately as you place out the money you will have all sorts of new interactions. Now I am not sure which specific amount is required for the money stack to appear in the vault. Old, but yeah, I added 10,000 simoleons and it seems that that is perfectly enough for my sim to be playing in the money and also nap in the money. I believe that the original purpose of the vault object is just to secure your money somewhere on your residential lot, just so you can show off and have a huge stack of gold bars, silver bars and also a huge stack of cash laying around somewhere that you can play in. You are of course allowed to take some money from the vault or add some money to the vault if you want to. It's a perfect object if you want to save some cash for later. And you know, I just love the object because it's a perfect opportunity for your sims to finally be responsible or you know, just like in this case as you see, irresponsible. I have to admit though, my favorite thing about the vault is the fact that sims can now woohoo in it. They can woohoo in the vault in the money pile and yeah, they can even try for a baby as well. And the animations that they do in the money pile are just amazing. So yeah, I'm gonna let you guys see them for yourself.
The next objects are the sleeping pods that we get with the Sins for Get Famous expansion pack and they are very interesting considering the fact that we didn't get a lot of beds in the Sins for series so far and then we get a huge object like this which allows our sims to get their energy need maximized. What I really like about this object is the fact that you can do all sorts of upgrades by just clicking on it in live mode so you don't have to maximize your handiness skill you already have a lot of upgradable parts that you can just purchase by clicking on the sleeping pod so these upgrades include the circadian tweaker then you get the enhanced emotion deprivation chamber the floor lighting the subliminal transmitter and the up and atom atomizer as you can see in the footage i purchased a lot of parts for the sleeping pod so i didn't get to find out what some of these parts do for the sleeping pod but i did get the fact that you can change the lighting of the sleeping pod once your sim is using it and you can also change the colors of it so you can see at the bottom that i've changed it to yellow and you can also influence your sims emotional state by selecting the subliminal transmitter option and from there you can influence their dreams and after they wake up they have a high chance of waking up in that emotional state which you put their dreams to be. The sleeping pods also bring a whole new woohoo occasion for your sims to enjoy in. It kind of reminds me of the coffin that we get with the sims for vampires game pack but yeah the visual effects are a little bit different. <laughs> The next object is the beauty salon object and with it comes a lot of crazy options. So you can offer makeup to other sims, you can offer to change the appearance, you can also offer to change the hairstyle of those sims. You can of course also ask other sims to do all of the same things for you. So you may be wondering how does this exactly function? Well my sim is currently applying makeup to my male sim and he is looking fabulous. But yeah, this sim is gonna go through three different presets, three different changes of his makeup until he reaches the final form not the final form but yeah the final option as you change through the different presets as you change to the different swatches and everything you're going to be able to select your sim and just press pause on the entire thing if you like the you know if you like the first or the second option that has been given to you after the third option is applied on your sim it's probably going to stay on your sim so i want to mention the fact that i haven't gone fully through the beauty salon object i just don't know everything Everything about it. I think that maybe I've covered everything, maybe I didn't. I'm guessing that I covered everything considering the fact that I gone uh, through both hair and makeup, but um, yeah, I still think that there's something undiscovered with the beauty salon that you can probably discover yourself. Um, so everything that I mentioned for makeup also applies for hairstyles. Sims will go through three different hairstyles until they reach the final third one, which is gonna stay on your sim. So here you can see that this is the first option that he has been given with you know this is the sims they're gonna randomly choose their hairstyles they're gonna randomly wear them you know they're gonna go from short hair to super long hair in a matter of two seconds and okay now it seems that my sim has gone back to his original hairstyle which is a hat and headphones um so i'm guessing that i made some incorrect information before which means that you are gonna be able to stop the process of choosing you know makeup and hairstyles so my guessing is that after all of the three different presets have been applied to your sims if you don't like any of them your sims are gonna go back just like they were um, if you like something if you like the hairstyle or the makeup that has been presented to you all you have to do is just click on your sim and yeah they're gonna be wearing that uh, hairstyle or makeup from that point on and now we move on to the last set of objects which are the stage props that you get with the acting career but yeah you can always place them down on your residential lot whenever you want 
The first object that I'm covering is the visual effects object, which lets you trigger any visual effects that you want on any type of lot, basically. So I've tried all sorts of visual effects. There's snow, rain, bubbles, um, spaghetti and meatballs, even. I mean, it's The Sims. What else could I expect from them? The last object that I'm covering in this video is just one of the new cameras that you get with The Sims for Get Famous. And basically, your Sims are gonna be able to play with it. They're gonna be able to perform the interaction just like any other NPC Sims would do at the studio lot, but don't expect any specific gameplay attached to it. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. These are just some of the new objects that you get with the Sims for Get Famous that have gameplay attached to it. Of course, there's a lot of new gameplay that come with the Sims for Get Famous that I haven't covered in this video and that I will very soon on this channel. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for all the latest news, updates, exclusive footage and more about The Sims 4, The Sims 4 Get Famous, The Sims Mobile and all things The Sims. Let me guys know what you think about the objects that I've covered in this video and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye! Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, then on. Yunba. Yeshla, back in noise,